Hello, myself Chirag Baloria. Today I have teach you if statement in C programming. In C programming, statements are executed sequentially. So whenever you execute the program, one by one statement will be executed. C provides two style of flow control to change the sequential execution of program. When sequential execution uh, is going on inside the program, at that time uh, we can uh, particular flow control uh, will be accomplished by two styles the one is branching it is called decision making second one is looping both are totally different uh, first if branching uh, it means decision making statement is deciding what action to take either condition is true or false uh, second one is looping looping is deciding how many times to take a certain action uh, with the help of particular given condition if condition is false uh, uh, program execution will be stopped decision making statement decision making statement is depending on the condition block need to be executed or not which is decided by condition so it means that uh, when one condition is given if you uh, uh, if you will execute this condition if condition is true then decision making statement will be executed otherwise it will not be executed if the condition is true statement block will be executed if condition is false then the statement block will not be executed in C language there are three types of decision making statement one is if if else and switch now types of if statements so first is simple if statement if else statement nested if else statement and else if letter uh, today in this video we have see simple if statement if then is most basic statement of decision making statement it tells to program to execute a certain part of code only if particular condition is true so when you execute the program if condition is true inside the if statement so block of if statement will be executed otherwise it will not be executed follow the flowchart to understand if statement syntax from next slide onwards uh, one flowchart uh, will explain uh, first flowchart will start it means execution is going on inside the program now condition occurs in between the execution of statement so there are two possibilities here in uh, inside the condition either condition is true or false now check either condition is true and next either condition is false next if condition is true it means inside the uh, condition statement I will be executed if condition false it means statement O will be executed if condition true then first uh, execute statement I and then execute statement O when condition is false directly execute statement O statement I will not be executed and finally other pro other uh, statement will be executed and stop the process now constructing the body of if statement is always optional create the body when we are having multiple statements it means that uh, here you can see that uh, this two curly bracket is the body of particular if condition if there is only one sentence it in between the curly bracket so no need to put this body part it means no need to put curly bracket if there are multiple statement in between the curly bracket you have to uh, compulsory put this curly bracket for a single statement it is not required to specify the body so no uh, if there is one statement so no need to put this curly bracket if the body is not specified then automatically condition part will be terminated with the next semicolon so whenever there is one statement in between the uh, if condition uh, when exe uh, execution is going on at that time semicolon uh, executed it means stop the particular statement <coughs> here the syntax of if statement now uh, I will explain this if condition is one condition is given over here inside the if bracket if condition is true then statement I will be executed when statement I will be executed then after statement O will be executed if condition is false uh, otherwise so it means condition is false directly statement O will be executed statement I will not be executed now uh, this is example number one first we check uh, this is when program is given uh, first of all now check uh, what will be given inside the program 
there is one integer value is given it is time time is equal to 10 when program execution going on now uh, integer time is equal to 10 then condition will be occurs inside the if statement so check 10 less than 12 now check over here go over here here time is equal to 10 if condition 10 less than 12 yes it is true so print good morning this is the uh, step number one for this example one program execution is uh, continuous going on so good morning will be printed so output will be good morning now program con uh, program execution will be going on here uh, by example one program will not be stop over here second step so whenever good morning will be print afterwards uh, program jump from the body of the loop uh, body of the if statement and print this particular statement so good afternoon so whenever your uh, condition will be true first print uh, inside the condition and then after out uh, print outside the particular body of the loop so first is good morning and good afternoon uh, this is the example one final output now example number two in example number two uh, integer value time is equal to 14 is equal to given so now check condition 14 less than 12 yes uh, it is false it is not a true so directly it jumps to the printf good afternoon because condition is false so good morning will not be executed and final output is good morning thank you for watching video please like share and comment subscribe my channel Chirag Palodia. Thank you so much.